Hey everyone, happy hey Thursday to you. I just said to David, what day is today? today? It's no. Thursday. Well, you can lose track sometimes, right? I know, I always like, do. Yeah, although as we get closer to the weekend, I am more likely to know the day of the week. I know, me too. So, but when so, we're in like the Tuesday, Wednesday days, I never know. Right. <laughs> Well, it's Thursday, everyone, <laughs> and Selena Pompiani is joining us. And if you have a friend with a much better phone than you that, like, you're jealous of, and for me, that person is Selena Pompiani. Uh, You've said this before. <laughs> well, we make you, we make Selena take all the pictures. Like, if the portrait it, mode on here is phenomenal. It's just you have the best phone, but. If you want a better phone, perhaps tomorrow is the big day for you because that's when you can begin pre-ordering the new Apple iPhones that were announced this week. Did you hear about this? You know what? I heard about this from our friend I Justine. We had her on PTL oh, yeah. before. She's fabulous. She does really great reports on, you know, new Apple phones and technology coming out. And I saw this yesterday and you could tell if you look at the new um, photo that came out, the three cameras. Look at that, right, the three lenses. Right. I don't like that. That's You don't like it? I, okay. I well, the new generation <laughs> of phones are called the iPhone 11. Apple says they have upgraded hardware, also better battery life, which is fantastic. Mm -hmm. Now, the cheapest one will cost you $699. The cheapest one. The cheapest oh. one. And Apple is even pushing the 11 Pro and the Pro Max. They start at $1,000. So they're not cheap. However, know. the pros have three cameras, as Selena mm -hmm. was talking about, and you can pre-order tomorrow, but they actually go on sale September 20th. Um, and, the, and the cameras, these, these 11s, now can do something that pet lovers are very excited about. Oh. So you can now take portrait mode photos of your pets. Wow. So this is an example that Apple put out. Uh, so it essentially keeps the face in focus, but kind of, you know, gives depth to everything else and blurs right. the background. That's amazing, too. Look, that looks like a professional photo. It does. That's yeah. incredible. So if you love taking pictures of your pets, perhaps that is something you want to look into. We yes. should say that the iPhone 11 replaces the XR, which mm -hmm. couldn't do this with pets, only with people, but apparently some other phones can do it. I don't know. That part's I confusing. can't keep up with it. And there's too I much. It, there's, there's too, too much. much. I think I got this one recently, too. I do love the portrait mode, but... You know, I'm going to keep this until I need to get a new one. There's I, no rush. See, I hold on to things. It's like my cars. I have cars for like 12 years. Dude, that's good, so though. So people ask me, you know, how old is your, what model is your phone? I don't the five. know. I, is it the 5? <laughs> no, I, I have know. no clue. I'm lucky I don't have a flip phone at this point. Uh, but something else that people are talking about with these new phones is the three, the, all the dots on the back, all the lenses. Well, this apparently can trigger something that's very real in some people called trypophobia. Um, and it's an irrational fear, mm -hmm. uh, or it's, it's, it may sound irrational, but it's actually very real for these people. They have an intense fear of repetitive patterns of holes. I've never heard of this before. We started talking about this today, and I, I could see that, though, because I yeah. don't like it. I don't like the way it looks, but this is a real thing. For instance, a honeycomb would make them really mm -hmm. uncomfortable. So seed yeah. pods, that's another thing that would bother Even them. Even bubble baths, like because you see all the bubbles. So I don't know if we have a picture of like just the backside of the phone that has all those, because there's the three lenses, but there's also like two other little holes too. So anyhow, people are talking about this on social media mm -hmm. and saying it could trigger people. I, you, I wouldn't you'll learn say something I, all the time. You always learn something. I don't have a fear of it, but I'm not a fan of it. Yeah, you. I'm, I'm well, good with the one. You're the, good with the, the one. Two, yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, yeah, there you go. But Selena has weighed in. <laughs> yes. It, it's amazing how far we've come. Oh, Look yeah. at these phones now. Do you remember your first cell phone? I do. And I think it was the Nokia. It was not a flip phone. It was like a brick. It was a hard little brick, the Nokia. Yeah. Yeah, well, I remember, like, the first phone that I bought for myself was a flip phone that had a little antenna that you pulled out. <laughs> and you had to text, you had to, like, do the numbers, uh -huh. like, three yep. Gs to get the whatever. Yeah, so, oh, wow. anyhow, but the first phone that I ever remember using was from KDKA. Mm -hmm. And this thing was huge. It was like a block. And it was, it looked like this. Oh, my gosh. Yes. Now, this is actually a toy phone you can buy that they have on Etsy. But it looked like this. And I remember, like, making making beat calls, calling all the police departments in Westmoreland County, and the phone would get so hot that oh. I thought it was going to catch fire. Like, it was, I mean, this was like the 90s. How heavy so. was that? 
It was heavy. A big brick. It was a big brick. That's exactly what it was. So I think it's amazing they're, they're what cool, technology though. does. We should go back. It's funny though. Well, you because, want one? We well, should go back. <laughs> even about five years ago, it was more trendy to get the skinnier, lighter phone. Even the iPhones now, they're getting bigger and bigger. Well, that's true. Maybe eventually, in another few years, we'll be to that size again. Yeah. You know, I just don't want Maybe. to carry it. Maybe it, if they could invent it so it floats along with me. Yeah, you couldn't put that big thing in your pocket. No, no, exactly. That's for sure. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, speaking of technology, we have something to show you. Uh, something unusual. Mm -hmm. In Arizona, a family had a visitor at their front door. Take a look at this. Oh, look at that, that pesky woodpecker. <laughs> and he got the doorbell. I think he was just trying to visit them, really. Yeah. This is the uh, the ring doorbell. It is motion sensing, so it begins recording video as soon as it sees motion there. So the bird flew up and, and smacked the doorbell. You can That's hear it ring. Funny. But no one came to the door. No. So either no one was home or they didn't want to visit with the woodpecker. Well, that's not very nice. But woodpeckers, I'm telling you, they're a problem. We had one at my house. My, a lot of people know this. They would tease my dad about it, but for almost a year, we had one that wouldn't go away, David. What did it do? It, would, it was just <laughs> pecking away at the house, and my, my dad was not liking it. So he eventually, I think he got a fake owl, put it outside. Bye-bye, woodpecker. There you go. That did the trick. I got a fake owl. We showed it before <laughs> oh, on the show. that's right. And not for a woodpecker, but to get the squirrel from quit digging in our, our bushes, wow. our, our planters. See? And it worked. It worked. It is, it, it, Franklin the owl is still out there on our yeah, front stoop. Yeah, Franklin the owl. Yeah. So, hey, a fake owl might do you some good. I know. Uh, so we just wanted to share that with you. Uh, okay. Very cute. How much water do you drink each day? <sighs> if you're asking me... Not a lot. In fact, show, show them what's in your mug. There's no water in your mug. There's no water in here. So I have my little mints. She has breath mints in her mug. I never have a drink, even though I love coffee. People would think I have coffee in here, but right. I told David, we, we always have delicious food on the show, a lot of garlic, and I don't want to kill David with my garlic <laughs> breath, so I have to keep these in You're here. You're so sensitive. But I don't You're so sweet. I need to drink more water. We all need to drink more water, and apparently there is a Twitter account now that mm -hmm. reminds you to drink more water. It's called We Drink Water. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. At We Drink Water, which is pretty cool. It started by two snowboarders, and they were concerned about the push of energy drinks. Some of them can even have sugar and caffeine, so they started this drink water brand. They even sell t shirts, sweatshirts that have drink water on them. So it's become really popular. Yeah, it's taken off. Other really famous snowboarders started wearing this stuff, mm -hmm. and now the Twitter account, of course, to remind you to drink water. And if you wonder how much should you be drinking each day, well, it turns out there are a lot of opinions about this, but most experts think we should drink eight eight ounce glasses of water a day. And that's I've always thought that's a lot. Me too. I think I'd be running to the bathroom. Me a lot. too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But that's, you know, water's good for us. It cleans it you out. It is. And I yeah. always, I, when I concentrate, I have to really concentrate about drinking water. And when I do, I do end up drinking a lot throughout the day. But when I get busy, for example, in the morning right. while I'm putting my traffic maps together. I don't drink any. I forget. Yeah. It's not well, good. that's because you're working too hard. Yeah. You're right. You know what? I'm going to take a drink now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. David has some. He does not have mints in there. Yeah. All right. We want to share with you something that is pretty uplifting. Uh, did you see the story that Steve Hartman did? Uh, Steve Hartman from CBS. Mm -hmm. Of course, he has his on the road stories. I need Kleenex every time I watch a Steve Hartman I know. story. They're great. They're so well They're done. They're so too. well done, and they get you. Well, mm -hmm. he did a story on this Pittsburgh man, John Potter, and John Potter does good deeds for people. So he does all sorts of things. He's a handyman by trade, but he will help you if your car breaks down, right. if your scooter is broken, uh, if you need help moving. And he doesn't just, uh, normally he doesn't charge, uh, but he does all sorts of things. And, and really the handyman stuff is just the beginning because we want to share something really exciting. But first, let's play a clip and really reveal what he has done most recently. Listen. I give because I want to give and that's just for me. And if anything, I go to bed and I feel happy. Yeah, come on in. Happy, but not wealthy. Is the check okay? Typically, John has just a few hundred dollars to his name, and yet he continues to give, sometimes a lot more than just handyman services. Um, would you mind carrying it to the car? After the kidney surgery, I can't lift anything. That's right. John has now moved on to vital organs. It's unbelievable. Last month, Michael Moore, another total stranger, got John's kidney. 
This is not fixing somebody's scooter. No, it's an unbelievable act of kindness. Michael says the best gift ever, but not only for the obvious reason. Because you find out that there's other people in the world that care, and uh, that's, a, that's a strong message. I'm telling you, his stories get me. Oh, okay. I, we start playing this, and I'm like, well, we the where's Kleenex. the Kleenex? Where's Patty. the Kleenex, Patty? <laughs> I know. But, that's unbelievable, though. Yeah, and now he wants to give part of his liver to someone. Uh, so he's an incredible guy, and mm -hmm. as soon as we saw this, we said, we need to have him on the show. So I started tracking him down, and I talked to him on the phone yesterday. He's agreed to come on Pittsburgh Today Live. We think we're going to have him on Monday oh morning. We will let you know. Uh, but what a great story to tell. Great so we story. are excited well, to I'm talk I'm looking forward him. to that. Yeah, it'll be great.